Hi, I'm Cadet Scott Cummings from Allen D. Nays High School. This is my Battle of Midway essay. Six months after the vicious surprise strike on Pearl Harbor, another Japanese plot to destroy the United States Pacific Fleet was brewing. Admiral Yamamoto, the fleet commander of the Japanese Imperial Navy, believed that an all-out offensive against the United States Pacific Fleet was undoubtedly the only way to gain the edge in the war in the Pacific. Confident in his superior force, Admiral Yamamoto underestimated the United States fleet. Under command of Admiral Chester Nimitz, the American force possessed advantages unbeknownst to Yamamoto. Intelligence gained from breaking the Japanese code and dedicated leaders with unparalleled courage gave the U.S. forces the will to overcome a seemingly insuperable foe. The American fleet of three carriers, 14 destroyers, and eight cruisers appeared outmatched by the massive Japanese fleet of six carriers, 45 destroyers, 13 cruisers, and 11 battleships. The intelligence work of Commander Joseph Rochefort and his cryptanalytical team leveled the playing field by successfully deciphering the Japanese code, which eliminated Yamamoto's element of surprise. Aware of the Japanese plan of attack, Admiral Nimitz ordered every available aircraft squ squadron to report to Midway Island. The breakthrough of Rochefort and his team was crucial to the success of the American counterattack and serves as a prime example of how gathering essential intelligence can turn the tables of unfavorable odds in battle. After several unsuccessful torpedo and bombing attacks on the Japanese fleet, a dive bombing strike led by a graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy, Lieutenant Commander Clarence McCluskey, ultimately decided the outcome of the Battle of Midway. After an extensive hunt for Japanese carriers with no results, Lieutenant Commander McCluskey and his air group scouts, as if by luck, spotted an enemy carrier striking force. The risky dive bombing offensive led by Lieutenant Commander McCluskey resulted in the annihilation of two major Japanese carriers, the Akagi and the Kaga. Through his exemplary display of leadership in commanding the critical attack, Lieutenant Commander McCluskey embodies the Navy's core values, honor, courage, and commitment. By dealing such a massive blow to the Japanese fleet, he sealed the fate of the battle in American favor. The decisive victory of the United States over the Japanese Imperial Navy at the Battle of Midway marked the major turning point in the Pacific theater. The stunning victory stands as a premier example of patriotism and selfless valor demonstrated by all American service persons who served at Midway. Even in the menacing face of adversity, the, Amer the valiant American combatants never lost sight of the objective and never lost hope. They never gave up the fight. The pivotal conflict at Midway led to an allied victory in not only the Pacific, but also the war in its entirety. The Battle of Midway influenced the development of the U.S. Navy into the superior naval force that it is today and helped force the United States into a shining symbol of freedom and democracy around the world.